Elizabeth Smart. Uh, she is the kidnapping and rape survivor who was held for nine months. She recently drew attention for her remarks about abstinence-only sex education. Elizabeth Smart abducted from her bedroom in Salt Lake City, Utah, at Knife Point in 2002, when she was 14, later said she was raped daily, forced into polygamous marriage, during what she described as nine months of hell before she was finally found. Here's part of what she said at Johns Hopkins University last week. Listen carefully. I remember in school one time, I had a teacher who was talking about, well, about abstinence, and she said, imagine you're a stick of gum, and when you engage in sex, that's like, that's like getting chewed, and then if you do that lots of times, you're going to become an old piece of gum, and who's going to want you after that? Well, that's terrible, but nobody should ever say that. But for me, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm that chewed up piece of gum. Nobody rechews a piece of gum. You throw it away. And that's how easily it is to feel like you no longer have worth. You no longer have value. Why would it even be worth screaming out? Why would it even make a difference if you are rescued? Your life still has no value. That's Elizabeth Smart, the kidnapping and rape victim who was found after nine months on the street uh, in Utah. Um, Jacqueline Friedman, your final response as you weave this all together. I think she's spot on. We have to start treating women as having equal humanity to men. Um, and until we do that, we have to heal the sexual culture, we have to heal our ideas of masculinity, we have to build new justice structures and strengthen the ones we have, it really is going to take an effort by the entire culture.